<laughs> so we're here today meeting with J.P. Chua. How are you today? Doing well, man. No doubt. Tell me, how you got here today, J.P.? So I live on the southwest side of Mount, southwest side of town, Mountain's <coughs> Edge. And, you know, not a lot of people, when they don't live near, let's say, the Strip or downtown, they like to complain about, well, it's not accessible at all. And I thought, no, actually. What I did was I took the 15, and the thing is everyone says, well, what about the spaghetti bowl? It usually gets jammed up right there. And I said, you just got to know how to pace yourself. Like, you take the express lanes, and then knowing that once you pass Charleston, it's wide open because where's everyone trying to get off at? Charleston, the 95 North. But as soon as you clear that, guess what? Casino Center Drive is right there, and it's a straight shot into Fremont. And from there, I just hopped off of um, Casino Center to Las Vegas Boulevard and actually parked on, literally on the other side of this building because parking is just convenient. I mean, everyone tries to park in the big structure over there, and I said, no, 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 no. On the other side, that's where it's at because, one, you're convenient. You're right in between Container Park. You can check that out. Or you're even convenient to Fremont Street, so you get the best of both worlds with such a centralized parking. Excellent. I'm glad you know your way around town and you know how great the parking is around here at the market. So not only am I an expert on the market and travel, I'm also an expert on riddles. Do two wrongs make a right? Okay. Well, then what do two rights make? Two rights make an airplane. So tell me, JP, what you got going on? So one of my biggest projects to date is Airline 4.0. It is a commercial transportation startup based here in Las Vegas. The idea being opening up secondary markets here in the U.S. to international destinations, as an example. If, I, if we wanted to go to Hong Kong right now, the best way for us to do that would be fly out of here to San Francisco or L.A., then catch the flight nonstop to Hong Kong. Now, while that's good, I always like to look at my parents, for instance. They're 60, 70 years old. They're not as able as they used to be. And yet, whenever we want to go to the Philippines, being Filipino, they o we always have to travel through one of these cities. L.A. is, quite frankly, a nightmare because domestic and international terminals aren't linked. And what that means is you have to go out of security, gather all your bags, then go back through security, check all your bags. And you can imagine how a 60, 70-year-old having to do all that they're not they're not able to so the idea behind airline 4.0 is to open up secondary markets like las vegas to the global community because if you think about it we are a global destination we'll get visitors from all over the country all over the world and it's amazing that really we were very limited in non-stop flights to say seoul is one non-stop london is another non-stop but you know what about hong kong as i mentioned singapore i know we certainly get visitors from those areas of the world so how come we don't have those nonstop connections. And again, it's not just Las Vegas, but it's also other secondary markets in the world. The reason why I chose Las Vegas is not only for the convenience of living here, but just the, the, the global aspect of this, of this city and this community where, you know, we could go on the strip right now and meet 10 people from 10 different countries. That's the amazing part of it. And I'm hoping that Airline 4.0 can, you know, make it more convenient for international customers and international visitors to come check out our great city, whether it's the Strip or even locally here downtown. Excellent. So I'm curious, Airline 4.0, did you try 1.0, 2.0, and now we're on 3.0, 4.0? The idea behind Airline 4.0 is if you look at our big airlines, Delta United and American, we would be the fourth one. And the 4.0 signify what well, our moniker is the next generation airline. 4.0 kind of epitomizes that in the sense that we are going to be utilizing technology for improved efficiency. We will be a very tech-friendly airline, as is the best way I can put it right now. Very nice. Tell me, what's your opinion of this downtown Las Vegas community? You know, I've visited Las Vegas downtown Las Vegas, both before and after I was able to gamble. And I've just noticed just the sudden revitalization, thanks in part to Tony Shea. And what I like about it is that compared to other gentrifying parts of the city, there's just such a uniqueness to Las Vegas because we were the city was born out of entertainment, and yet there's such a thriving local culture to it. I mean, Container Park is, I guess, the best example of, you know, that bootstrapping entrepreneurial spirit where we have a main stage, we have grass, we have all these little shops, you know, and it's that focus on that small business, that entrepreneurship, or if I were to quote Elvis, a fortune won a loss in every spin, and it's just 
the uniqueness of this city, I think, is epitomized here in Fremont, the revitalization, the gentrification. And you look at shops like the market we are, we are here today, Commonwealth, which is a nice non-strip alternative, or even Container Park. You just There are just so many great aspects of downtown that you know I think go, go overlooked for locals and visitors. Absolutely. I couldn't have said it better myself. So tell me, how does your vision of Las Vegas and come together with Airline 4.0? It's funny because I'll have a lot of friends, when I talk to them, they're always wanting to get out of Las Vegas. And I, <laughs> I say, well, I'm the only so idiot that wants to stay. But it's not about, you know, it's not about the heat. I look at the community, there's just so many advantages and opportunities here to build a better community. CCSD, for example, that's one. We, ha we just have this such disparity in the community because we have rich areas like the Strip and yet we are struggling locally in the community. So my grand vision for Las Vegas is to make it a world-class city known not just for the Strip, but you know, we have Tesla coming in. We have other so uh, we have Tesla coming in. We have maybe more. We have the drone. We have the drone test site. So really, Las Las Vegas and, and Nevada as a whole. There's so many opportunities to grow as a city and as a community. And the way I want to, you know, how I want to incorporate Airline 4.0 into the growth and the future success of the of the community is that providing these world worldwide access. Because yes, we can go on the internet. We can Google everything, but you know, m m personally. I studied Latin all growing up. I was a bit of a la I was a bit of a la language nerd. Studied ancient Rome, ancient concept, em the Empire of Rome, and all that. And then when I finally got to go to Rome and be in the Forum and touch all these columns that are two thousand years old, it was very visceral. You know, you read about it in books, but to actually physically touch this column and know that there may have been a kid my age leaning up against this column two thousand years ago—that's what's amazing. And you know, a lot of people have never seen Las Vegas, have never been to Las Vegas. So again, internationally or domestically, Airline 4.0 wants to open up the community to really enriching people about what, it, what Las Vegas is about, aside from just the gambling. No doubt. All right, before we end our meeting at the market, where can all the curious people find out more about Airline 4.0 and everything else you got your hands in? So Airline 4.0, the, air, the website's very easy, airline4, the number 4, dot com. And then if you want some more interesting tidbits, you know, basic lifestyle or my travels as I'm working on the startup, my Instagram account is jpvegas21. All right. JP, we have one more riddle for you. <laughs> A man gets in his cabin in Michigan. Four hours later, he gets out of his cabin in Las Vegas. How is that possible? He flew coach. That's right, he's in an airplane. Thank you once again, JP. We'll see you soon.